Uh, this is Ryan with MMA Viking here with Robert Whiteford after his big victory at Vision FC. Hey guys, what's up? How you doing, man? I'm good. Been one week here in Sweden, nearly, and uh, it's going well. I'm training in Stockholm. Should it's supposed to be a vacation, but it's not turning out that way. I've been training twice a day, so it's good. Cool. And, uh, wait, what kind of guys? Who are you training with at Stockholm? Shoot. Uh, Andreas Michael. He's been coaching me and stuff. I've been training with. Uh, who? Let me think now. Carlos Prada, he's been there. Alexander Gustafsson. Uh, there have been a lot of guys. Bruno Cavallo. I'm not too good with names, so I'm doing well. <laughs> I think I've got three off now, so okay. that's not too good. Jonathan Weston also, he's been there. Cool, so training with some of the guys your size and some big guys. Yeah, some of the bigger guys. And uh, I think they like to give me the bigger guys more than the little guys, but yeah, it's going good. The, the, the most important thing is the guys are cool. They're real nice down there. Cool. So there's some sort of alliance now between uh, Scotland and, and Sweden coming together here. Well, I don't know if it's an alliance, but, <laughs> but I'm down here doing my thing and the guys are treating me well. So cool. maybe in the future it could be good for me and for them. Cool. Well, it's kind of unique. We have the Vision promotion that has events in Sweden and in Stock in Scotland. Um, so it's kind of a, a cool connection. Yeah. Um, and uh, what are you doing uh, here specifically? I know probably in the video that you can see a lot of gr uh, women grapplers behind us. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here specifically. Uh, I don't even know what I was doing here this week. It was supposed to be a vacation, as I said. And uh, Sunday afternoon, I'm down here and it's a natural of girls. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure and it's good to see girls get involved with MMA also. It's good for the sport and it's good, to, it's good for other people to get involved with it. But, um, uh, I want to get down to business. I think uh, there's a lot of questions about your last fight with Martin Svensson. Yeah, I think yeah. uh, one of the reasons why there's a lot of questions is because it hasn't been shown on TV, so it's just the people that were there. Maybe you could just tell us uh, tell us about the fight. I know it was really short, but tell us what went down. Yeah, it's also uh, probably a lot of fighters. Uh, I don't know a lot about it either. Uh, it's like tunnel vision when I get in there. Uh, I can remember coming out, uh, touching gloves with Svensson. He stood back. And the referee said, let's fight. So we fight. I go into his range and he, he puts out a sloppy jab. And I thought, hmm, he's going to keep putting that out of me. It's not going to scare me. Uh, I stepped him back and he stood back. And usually with big guys, they like to keep you at range. Uh, but he was the one backing up. And I backed him all the way around the cage and he ended up in my corner. So that's good. Because sometimes when you're in the opposition's corner, they get good advice and stuff. So you, you tend to like to stay out of the danger zone. Yeah, yeah. But he was in my water so I thought mm, I'm gonna go for this here and uh, I had him once and uh, he done the chicken dance and I thought mm, this guy's in trouble I hit him again and put him on the cage I think I maybe had him once or twice and he was like out on his feet I'm like wow what do I do here do I hit him again or does the ref stop it or what because I thought mm, he's in trouble so I just started blasting away and uh, I think he went out unconscious once or twice and I brought him back with punches uh, and he, he totaled up and standing on one leg like he didn't want to fight, like he was turning away from the cage and stuff. And uh, I thought the referee was a little a little late, to be honest. Uh, but I can see Martin's point or his coach's point, because it's a big fight, it's a title fight, and if I get stopped in that fashion, I wouldn't have liked it either. But uh, he needs to defend himself at all times, as I do. And he wasn't doing that. He turned away like he didn't want to fight. And uh, I think it was a fair stoppage. And the, the biggest point, I think, uh, Right now, I think it's maybe two or three weeks after the fight, and mm -hmm. if the referee hadn't stopped me then, I'd still be punching him now. And he wasn't defending himself, so there wasn't any good going to come from the situation. So there was some point where you thought you were thinking they were going to stop it even before yeah, that point. Yeah, I thought that the referee could have maybe stopped it a little earlier. Uh, but as I said, he was in and out of consciousness, and it didn't it didn't look too good. I thought I thought to myself, I'm going to really hurt this kid if something doesn't happen. And then they let it go on, and there was a few more strikes, maybe maybe another 10, 15 strikes, and uh, that's when the referee came in. Okay, so. Uh, from your point of view, there really wasn't a controversy about the stoppage. Well, you know, as I say, I can't really remember much of the fight, but I know I had him in trouble, and I thought, hmm, 
this is dangerous for him and I know I, I also had him out and if I think in my mind that the referee needs to stop this soon the, it had to be stopped if, if he wasn't doing anything yeah, yeah so it, it is a dangerous situation for him okay. and, and what's what's next for you uh, I don't know what's next uh, we have a lot of well, say me and my management and stuff at, at uh, Swedish fighters there's a lot of things going on with me with the bigger promotions and it's, it's like the FBI in America you can't really speak about it you speak about it you get a chap at the door the next day and you disappear so, okay. so I don't like to say too much or jinx the situation but there's a lot of good things coming and uh, yeah it seems to be a good point in my career just now and, uh, and as I said to a lot of people maybe a lot of people didn't know me before the fight but I just needed the opportunity to get these fights and, and I'm, I'm going to be here to stay and I'm going to be dangerous for all the guys in my division okay Great, well congratulations again and we look forward to uh, seeing you back here in Sweden and look forward for what's next okay. in your career. Thanks a lot guys. Cheers. Cheers.